Hey YouTube, it's been a long time since I've done an update. Uh, just been super busy and uh, life's gotten in the way, but I thought I would do a fish room tour today. All the big tanks, all the big fish, that type of stuff. Stay tuned, I'll do a shrimp tour and I'll update you on the reef tanks and the new reef tank that uh, I haven't even shown on YouTube yet. So right now we're just hanging out here with Cheeto and his girlfriend. Um, before I start with the tour, I want to make sure everybody knows that Black Friday is coming up. Starting on Thanksgiving, um, we're going to be offering 20% off everything on the AquaticSupportSystems.com website. That's any fish food. You know you can get your Southern Delight. Real popular fish food for people who keep the bigger fish. Um, also North Fin, Fluval Bug Bites, Sarah. And those of you that are into shrimp, uh, we've got tons of shrimp products. Shrimp King, Glass Garden, Salty Shrimp, MK Breed, Low Keys. Uh, we've got Moss Ledges, things like that. So make sure that you don't miss it. 20% uh, off everything on the website. Um, and that's gonna go uh, for the entire Black Friday, Thanksgiving weekend through Cyber Monday. Um, and there won't be a sale uh, with that big of a percentage off uh, until well into next year, probably Memorial Day, if I even do, I may not even do 20% off on Memorial Day. So this is gonna be a chance to get the uh, biggest discount. So it's a good time to stock up, especially on your Southern Delight bulk and uh, things like that. So anyway, uh, let's get started with the tour and uh, we'll go from there. All right, so since we're up here, we'll just start with Cheeto. Um, not much to uh, report as far as anything new, but he's doing good, so is his girlfriend. Um, they're constantly seeming to be in breeding mode, but yet they don't spawn ever, which is the oddest thing. I mean, you can see right now on her that her tube's down. Um, if you're new to this channel, these are Amphilophus citronellus, or a uh, common name, Midas cichlid. They're an adult pair. They've been together for a year or so. They have bred in the past, but the fry have never made it um, all the way. I've had free swimmers and that type of thing, but um, it's just never been successful. So mainly I keep them as wet pets and uh, just enjoy them. They're in my office where I work uh, for my normal job and um, get to see them basically on a daily basis. So. That's what's new with these guys. Uh, let's go downstairs and um, check out the rest of the fish room. So um, we're down here. I'm not sure. There's been some changes. Uh, I, I don't even remember which month. We did the last video, but uh, I don't think I've even done anything since Aquashella. So I guess I, what I want to do is thank everybody that stopped by the Aquatic Support Systems booth um, at Aquashella and said hi. Those of you that made a purchase, we truly appreciate it. We had a successful show and it was just fun seeing all the people there that watched the videos and that we know through YouTube um, and through just doing business. Um, so um, thanks again. Uh, and Look forward to seeing any of you in May at Aquashella, Dallas. So, um, here is the flower horn. This is Colossus. He is a 9.9 .9 King Kampha. Um, he's doing well. Um, seems like lately his coloration, the red has faded a little bit and he's showing more blue, but that can change too, just depending on, I guess, his mood and water quality and things like that. Um, but yeah, he's doing good. He's hungry right now. I'm going to give him a little bit of uh, Southern Delight Large Cichlid. Um, if you're not familiar with this food, uh, give it a shot if you keep cichlids. They love it. But yeah, he's doing well and I uh, don't have anything else really to say about him. Down below here we've got uh, the Midas pair. Um, the male is out and about, the female she's hiding, he's been picking on her a little bit lately, so I'm, I'm to, it's to the point where she's even got a little bit of wounds, uh, she's got a, a wound on her and I'm going to have to probably divide them, um, there she comes out, 
you can see he's he nabbed at her fins and a, there's a little bit of wounding on the side um, so we're gonna have to divide them here today after we get done shooting this video um, but he's doing good he's looking great nice coloration on him and he's, he's a healthy happy fish Down below here, um, we've got uh, Gina Suki, which is my um, uh, Moda. Um, these are Rio Blanco Modas. There's a female in here that I got from James Randall. I don't remember if I've done a video since I've gotten that female, but I had them divided for a month or two. And just yesterday, I took the divider out. So far, they seem to be doing okay, but she does hide. Um, I've got some two nice pots here with holes that are big enough for her, but not him. And she's, I think, in this one right now. Um, but um, yeah, this morning when I came down to feed, sorry for the glass or the wet spots, or not wet spots, but there's calcium or water staining on this tank. I need to get in there or get on there with some vinegar to get that out. But this morning she was uh, happily in the flower pot with him, not really showing spawning behavior, but they were both just kind of hanging out in there like they were in a cave together, so. That was a good sign. We'll see what happens. He's doing well. Up here is the other flower horn. This is the red magma. He's doing good too. Um, nothing really new to report on him. Um, just enjoying him as a wet pet and uh, things seem to be doing, doing well with him as well. So he's still got this uh, freckle or black spot on his lip, bottom lip there, which Kind of gives him some character. Um, we'll move along here. For those of you that are new to this channel, I'll just kind of give you an overview of how the fish room is set up. The tanks we just looked at were right over there. By the way, here's all my supply. Look at all this Southern Delight that's just waiting uh, to be purchased on the um, Black Friday sale. I'm all stocked up on it. Um, I've got North Fin bug bites and these bins down here are completely chock full of North Fin and uh, Fluval bug bites. I got a bunch of shrimp products over here, glass garden, salty shrimp, two bins full of shrimp king down there. And uh, yeah, so anyway, that's just kind of a little behind the scenes of aquatic support systems and our supply rack. <laughs> but anyway, um, to kind of show you how the fish room set up. Behind me is where we just were, and then these are the all of the cichlid tanks, kind of going around the room. And then I also keep shrimp. There's four shrimp tanks there, and two four racks there. Some shrimp tanks here, and my two saltwater tanks are upstairs. So if you guys are new to the channel, that's kind of the setup. Um, before I get go any further too, I guess one other thing. You might have seen that I did a video uh, the other day on a uh, Marineland Emperor Pro 450 filter. Um, I've got some extras that they sent me, so I'm gonna be doing a giveaway coming up soon, so stay tuned for that. Um, I'll be giving away one of those, and then also I've got a video that's uh, gonna be posted next week probably on this Marineland um, Magnum polishing internal canister filter. So I'll be giving those away too, um, the extras. So keep your uh, eyes open for those if you're looking for a free filter. It'll be a real easy giveaway. And uh, I'll give some more details in a separate video on that. All right, so uh, the Feste tank, they're doing good. One thing I've noticed about him though lately is um, the male, he really likes to hide a lot um, and he spends a lot of time in this tube like te te technically I'm surprised that right now I'm this close and he hasn't gotten into the tube because that's kind of been his MO lately I'm not sure what that's all about she's doing good they've had a couple almost spawns when I say almost means that she's laid eggs they've been fertilized and they've gotten to the wiggler stage and then that's all the further they go they get eaten or something but um, it's sporadic, it's not 
on a schedule or anything, uh, but I just enjoy having this pair. They're a beautiful pair of fish and uh, it's just fun. Down below here is one of the uh, Trimac tanks. Um, if you're new to bigger fish, these are Amphilophus trimaculatus. You're looking at the male and the female, she's hiding back there. They actually had a successful spawn in that there was free swimmers, a huge cloud, and they were swimming all around the tank. Um, parents were being real good for several days. I didn't pull them and eventually the, the cloud disappeared uh, one day. Um, so I'm assuming they were eaten by mom and dad. But he's growing quite a bit recently, probably even noticeable since the last video I did. Um, and I'm just real happy with this guy. Um, his coloration isn't as vivid as the other Trimac that I'll show you later, but um, he's still doing good. Actually, I'll just show you that other Trimac right now. Let's go over across here. Here's the other Trimac tank. This is uh, the male. You can see his green and red colors are quite a bit more vivid than, than the other one, but uh, he's not as big. Uh, the female is somewhere in here. She's been hiding a lot lately. These guys kind of go in spurts. Maybe she's in the pot, no. Where they get along good and they'll spawn. There she is. And they'll have a clutch of fry that lasts a day or two and then they eat them and then they kind of go into um, fight mode or he picks on her I should say probably more than anything but this guy he's quite the specimen I really really like the green and red coloration on him he's got a lot more vivid coloring compared to the other one that I just showed you um, and then since we're over here I'll just show you I've got some red devil or amphilophus labiatus fry that I picked up from my buddy James Randall just gonna grow those out for myself. I've got some Hadeensis left here um, that haven't been sold. Um, trying to decide if I wanna sell those or grow them out for myself, probably will sell them. And then a couple, two Midas that I'm just, basically I kept them in here in each of these tanks so that these tanks stay cycled. Down below here, I've moved the other Moda that was in the big 210 uh, he's now in this tank alone. The female has since passed. He beat her up and she died. Um, so now I've moved him over here to just be the sole inhabitant of this tank. And I'll show you the Midas uh, that were in this tank before and where they ended up. This guy's a stud. I don't know if I'm gonna keep him. I don't really have much use for a single male Moda, but this is a nice real Blanco Moda from Sean Hyden, his line. Actually, uh, this one is one that spawned from my prior pair, Gino Suki, and the, the female that has since died. Um, it's the one that I kept and, and grew out. All right, um, so here's the Midas. They have now moved to uh, the top of the two two tens, and I've got about. 13 I think in here and um, they're doing well I just decided it'd be fun to keep them in a bigger tank and grow them out this is the one that was in this tank before with the arowana and the moda it's from a different spawn but they're these are all related and then the rest um, I pulled from the 75 they've been in here about a month and noticeable growth being in a bigger tank um, over that time period. Um, I've been feeding these guys Southern Delight Power Feed. And I'm gonna go ahead right now and feed them. They got a little freaked out there when I took to open the lid, which is odd, but you can see it's kind of a fun thing to watch. Uh, a big mob of Midas uh, just nailing some food. They love this stuff, Southern Delight Power Feed, so. And if you're new to this channel, I sell Southern Delight Power Feed both in these size bottles and then the, the one pound plus big bottles. I'm the only person in the US, I'm the only company that uh, 
sells Southern Delight in bulk, so it's a, it's a good deal to buy in bulk, especially if you have a big fish room. Got these nice bulk bottles with shaker tops on them. So um, there's a few uh, loaches in here, as you can see. Um, there's a little runt of, the, of all the uh, Midas that he kind of stays over on that side of the tank. <coughs> Um, a few of them have a little bit of black blotching on them. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see how these guys turn out if they're a solid color, if they darken up, if they have black uh, blotching or white blotching, you know, creamsicle or piebald, that type of thing. So down below, um, we've got uh, the F1 Umbi pair. This is Optimus and his female Matrix. They also had a spawn since the last video, but it didn't last. Um, at the wiggler stage, things went awry and they, they must have eaten the wigglers. <clears throat> Seems to be the story of my life uh, as far as these fish um, spawning problems, that type of thing. Although I'm not super interested and don't really have the time to deal with spawns and growing out fish and selling them properly at this stage. So maybe that's a good thing. But he's looking great, so is she. No problems at all with these guys. Ooh, it's not something I see every day with them. A bunch of leftover spider wood and manzanita wood from Aquashella. Um, here is Magnus and Beast. These are the wild caught Umbi pairs. Those of you that are new, um, when I say Umbi, it's uh, Chronoharos umbiferous or umbiferum. These are from the Rio Magdalena River Basin. This is the female, or excuse me, the male named Magnus, and the female is Beast. She's over here. If you saw recently, I did post a couple videos. They actually spawned. It wasn't a large spawn, um, but they did end up making it to, uh, there was a, not a lot, 20 or 30 probably, um, free swimming fry but that didn't last long and they they were eventually eaten, I guess. And uh, so we're not, we don't have any Magnus and Beast Fry to grow out. The, there was a massive amount of eggs and then not as many hatched as one would hope. And so it was a small clutch of free swimmers. And I don't know if they just weren't having it or aren't good parents anymore but um, i showed you a video of them with the free swimmers and uh, within a day or two after that they were gone um reddest latest pair nothing new to report other than he's got another wound on his nuchal hump um, he likes to hit his head on the top of the tank or actually i think it's probably this um, metal tube or not metal a cement tube they have not spawned. There's one la uh, lone Sebuldi in there, but he's looking great. So is she. Uh, he's just really a nice specimen. He's just kind of wanting to eat right now. I'm not gonna sit and feed every tank uh, on camera, so I'll feed him after we're done. But down below, <laughs> this guy has been looking super awesome lately. Oh, by the way, if you're new, these are Amphilophus redis latus. So related to some of the other Amphilophus earlier in this video, the Trimac, the Midas, and that type of thing. These are my Hadiensis pair. Um, as you can see, there's still a few fry that have grown out in here that I haven't been able to get out. They have not spawned for me in several months but uh, he is just looking phenomenal. And I um, wish I could get a nice side profile view of him. He would turn, if I can put my, there we go. This guy's just looking really nice. But without taking up too much more of your time, I guess we're gonna end it here. So again, um, Black Friday sale. If this video uploads when I hope it will on Tuesday, the sale starts on Thursday, which is Thanksgiving 2019. If you're watching this way in the future, forget I said that, but um, 
we're gonna have a Black Friday sale that starts on Thanksgiving, which would be the 28th of November. And 20% off everything in the store, all fish foods, Southern Delight, North Fin, Fluval Bug Bites, all shrimp food, all shrimp products, any products that we carry on the website, now's your time to get a super good discount and stock up, so make sure you take advantage of that. Also, stay tuned for an upcoming giveaway on some marine land filters like I showed you earlier in the video. And I wanna thank everybody who watches my videos and subscribes to this channel. Leave a comment below. Let me know what your favorite fish was in this video. Let me know if there's anything you're thinking about purchasing on the website for Black Friday and any other general questions that you might have. Um, thank you to anybody that subscribes. I truly appreciate it. Um, and we're just hoping to continue to keep on keeping on with this channel. Until next time, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you later.